Hello, welcome to Yokogawa's how-to video series. My name is Larry Walsh and I am an Applications Engineer at Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today I will show you how to test AC panel meters using an AC voltage and current standard. There are two important functions to test when verifying an AC panel meter. One test verifies the deviation of the actual reading, in other words, the accuracy. The second test is to verify the smooth movement of the indicator. For my demonstration, I'll be using a Yokogawa 2558A AC voltage and current standard as my source and a Yokogawa AB40 panel meter as my test subject. To test this particular panel meter, I will first need to set up my AC source. We set the frequency of the AC source to the same frequency as the meter is designed for. In this case, 60 Hertz. Next, I'm going to set the source to match the major divisions on this panel meter. The panel meter to be tested has a total of 15 major divisions, so I will set the output divider to 15. The last item I need to set is the voltage. In this case, I will set the voltage to the maximum value for this panel meter, which is 150 volts. The AC source setup is now complete. I will now connect the panel meter under test to the source. Next, I will turn on the output to the source. Using the output divider knob, I will now step the voltage down one step at a time. Each click will decrease the reading on the panel meter one major division. At any of these points, the accuracy on the panel meter can be checked. The specified accuracy of this panel meter is 1% of full scale. To do this, set the voltage to a major division, then use the deviation control to center the meter indicator directly over the major mark. Now read the percent deviation on the source. It will tell you how far the meter is from its mark. Next step the AC source to the next voltage level and repeat the deviation. To keep my demo simple, I will only show one example. Let's test the accuracy and deviation for the 90 volt mark. Step the divider to 9 fifteenths. Then adjust the deviation until the indicator is centered on the 90 volt mark. The deviation shows that the meter is off by 0.44%. Since this is a 1% accuracy meter, you can see that it is well within the specifications. For the last part of this test, we need to sweep the voltage from 0 to 150 volts. Typically, when testing these meters, manufacturers test up to 120% of the maximum range. This test is to check the meter for smooth pointer operation. To perform this test, the 2558A is designed with a built-in sweep function that allows you to sweep voltage or current from 0 to 120% of the maximum setting. With the meter sitting at 0 volts, I simply press the sweep button and the 2558A will sweep the voltage to the panel meter in a very controlled manner. The sweep function will also overscale the output to the meter by 20%, causing the meter movement to hit the pointer stop. This is done to see if the meter would stick if an overvoltage condition occurred. Next, I will press the sweep button again to reverse the process and the pointer should smoothly transition off the pointer stop and continue to smoothly sweep all the way down to zero. Since the 2558A does the sweeping automatically, the operator can keep an eye on the movement of the pointer to ensure that it has no rough spots that could cause it to hang up in normal operation. This could not be done with any consistency if the sweep was done manually. 
If the meter passes these tests, then it is operating to factory specifications and can be returned to normal operation or placed in inventory and sold. The Yokogawa 2558 AC voltage standard I used in this demo has a full scale accuracy specification of 0.04% for AC voltage and 0.05% for AC current. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or are in need of an AC source or other test equipment, please feel free to contact any of our application engineers or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.